first sort of skate parks I came across in WA when I was over here on holiday, actually. Um, and it was raining at the time when I, when I saw it, but I was really impressed with it and definitely wanted to come back and skate it, which I did when I moved over, obviously, and, and moved into the area. Um, and that became my local, sort of the first skate park I'd skated in WA and, and became my local for a long time. Um, always, always good fun there, had a great time. Um, obviously, it, it did start to show signs of wear and tear after a while, and that kind of meant my usage of it decreased quite dramatically. Um, so I'm really looking forward to the new one. It's going to be fantastic. Well, I'm a council with the city of Quinana and, and as such we have the officers present to us some ideas and um, with the unfortunate demise of the old skate park and having to be removed we're now going through this process of uh, consultation and fundraising to prepare a new and better facility for the community. overseeing some of this consultation stuff about this new outdoor use space. In brackets, yes it's a skate park, but it is also, it's more than that. It's a, it's a spot where you guys are going to be able to use as a hangout space, as a recreational space, as a hookup space, as a Wi-Fi space possibly, and all these other things. You're here to give a bit of feedback and have a look at the first draft plan of what this space might look like. helping design it but yeah I enjoy coming along where I can put my ideas in and my thoughts again towards the new park like I've never had anything to do with anything like this before and it's really cool you know something new to me My from our chat last time I was here everybody was really hardcore about it being separated and sort of everyone having their own space and by doing that, we're going to ensure safety for everyone. You'll notice that the design has taken on lighting, for sure, because it was a massive, <coughs> massive point that everybody really wanted. Floodlights, they wanted a push button activated. They wanted to be in control of when it was the time for them to go home, essentially. Down here is Callista Oval, so this is where the oval is. The adventure playground is going to be going off in the distance, up in that white space over there. Over on, over on this side is Gilmore Ave. This space is sort of separated away, and it's been, it's, it, the whole idea is that about sort of circulating back and forth through this space. Myself, I reckon you'd be better off leaving a transition like this together and then having the banks like that. Over Facebook, I've sort of made my views sort of known and 
um, put them forward and yeah, I like to think that I've had some sort of um, input on sort of yeah where we're at now and would like to see it keep going forward in that direction. Thanks again for coming along. Um, so this is our final presentation tonight of the concept plan. You can kind of see the street section there and the sort of combination of pieces that have um, ended up in there. The sort of off in the distance there, you can see how this pathway now connects across over to this space in here and make sure that everybody can access that space. We now have a, I think this is a three meter extension um, that goes to eight foot and has that vert in it. Is it like the bank? Is everything sort of going to be a little bit met, like, yeah, like bigger scale than sort of what it sounds like? Even though it's only so high, is it going to be sort of mellow as it's Yeah, longer? so when the lower the number gets, the tighter that radius get, yeah. and the more sort of whip, whippy it's going to get. So it's going to whip you vertically, whereas if we have a higher radius, it's going to shoot you out. Which, so on the sort of, on that sort of box down, so if everybody who may not know, what we're talking about is in this space here, the idea is that on those radiuses you want to be, as well as being projected up, you kind of want to be projected out as well, so that you can sort of cross that distance. We had a meeting today with the councillors and they are very excited um, and happy to hear how many of you have been involved and the support that you're giving the project. They wanted me to communicate personally their thanks as well. Um, and they're gonna do everything in their power to sort of keep this project moving forward and to make sure that this gets delivered. I love the design. Um, it's got so many interesting facets, not knowing particularly uh, very much. In fact, I wanted to ask what a mini was tonight, but it's, I think it's going to cater for, as we said earlier, lots of age groups, um, lots of skill levels. Being a bit more sectioned out so people can have sort of diff different levels of stuff going on at different times instead of just sort of one level of stuff. But yeah, um, I'd like to see sort of, yeah, just all, all sort of levels are riding there. Oh, I just love everything about it. It's got the, it's got some good street stuff there. I like, I like the, I like both street sections. I like the way it's been designed with the rails, the ledges and stuff, but it's still got that little bit of like vert or whatever, you know, that, that little bit of transition there. I like that. But I'm more of a vert skater myself. I like, I hit up halfies and bowls. That's my thing and I prefer that. And the way that they're talking about doing the six halfie and then doing the eight on the side, that really excites me because you can go to the small, the six and learn and then you can move up to the eight once you get it really good on the six and you know, that bowl looks really good. Like, that, that's gonna be fun. I think the current design's brilliant. I think this is one of the best consultations I've actually been involved in. Um, just the willingness to listen and take on board the feedback from the various user groups, because it's a, it's a real tricky thing to please everyone that, that wants to use a skate park. There's a lot of different elements that are involved and a lot of diverse groups. Um, but I think the separation of everything here is, is going to minimise uh, a lot of the dangerous elements that appear elsewhere. Um, I just think it caters for a wide age range of people, people like myself that are older and a bit more experienced. There's some great stuff for young kids in there. I think, I think they've done a great job on it.